Hey, welcome. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. This is part of my short stories uh, compilation. This is video three of my segment that I've been calling Poe Mama. This is video number three. Okay, so today we are going to focus on, I think this is actually by far the worst. Because I, yeah, I, I, it's not even a thing of where I probably shouldn't laugh. Fuck it, this really did tickle me, tickled the fuck out of me, but okay. Poe Mama, okay, part three, here we go. Here we go, so Mama, again, let me run you up in case you didn't see videos one and two, because there's three three videos in this little segment. Um, Mama is a friend of mine's mother who basically, she had to be in her 50s or whatever. She likes to little, have her little cocktails and things like that. And She's just really, really cool. Really nice lady. But she just gets a raw deal. And then the thing is it's the shit's funny. It should be funny, but the shit's funny because she usually gets fucked up in the, in the interim. But whatever. So shit, you can't even write this shit. It, it's just... Just shit that I done ran into. But Po Mama, okay. So, now at this time, my friend didn't live in the attic apartment that he had. He lived in this other apartment where, and I don't know why he would move into this fucking shack joint, but you had to go down the side of the house to get to get in the door. And again, over in that side of town, there's a lot of houses that were huge, like damn near mansions. They're huge, and they have turned them into apartment buildings. So, anyway, this is like a back apartment, okay? So, you had to go down the, down the side of the house to get to what was his front door. So, here, this is late at night because Mama used to like to go on up to the beer garden and have her a couple sips and a nip, okay? So, she comes down, baby. Mama is full, okay? She comes in like she's rattling the door. You know, rattling. Like, what the fuck? You know, drunk is drunk, but all that rattling. She comes in the door. Baby, her hair is just disheveled, honey. And she's babbling. Hey, got me. Hey, got me. That motherfucker got me. And I'm like, well, who got you, girl? What is going on, honey? Child, somebody that mugged her, honey. Basically, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the mother, okay, down that motherfucking dark ass alley, trying to get to her front door. That guess they follow her from the bar or whatever. Tell you know it's wrong check day, honey. But she's all the shovel, and she's like, yeah, that motherfucker got me. Okay, so that's not funny. Well, yeah, it is. It's not funny that she got mugged, but this is what's funny. She's still babbling. She's like, they ain't get me without a fight, this, that, and the other. When you look down, baby, and the crease of her arm, she in her purse. You know, it was one of them old Needlemeyer purses with the little prongs on the ball when you sit it down and say, it will scratch your fucking furniture. One of them purses. You look down, she's still in, you know, in the crease of her arm, honey. She's like, I can, mm -mm. but look, baby, the handles were in the crease of her arm, but the purse was gone. <laughs> the purse was gone. Gone, gone, gone. The purse was gone. She had the motherfucking handles in her goddamn crease of her arm. She done put up a fight. Funniest shit ever. Ever. And I know I probably should not laugh. There's nothing funny about a lady being mugged. But just her demeanor and the fact that the ugly ass purse was literally missing. And all she had was the fucking straps. How time about? But she gave him a good fight. Did you? Did you? <laughs> a mess. All right, guys. I told you. So that's it. That's where I'm going to end this segment. I have my short stories about Paul Baba. We're going to leave Mama alone. Hilarious. Hilarious. But anyway. All right. So you guys can thumbs up or you can thumbs down. And again, tell me I'm going to hell for laughing or whatever. I don't care. Child. I
It is what it is. It's funny. I laughs at my ass, and you need to know, I will damn sure laugh at your ass, too. It just is what it is. All right, guys. Leave me comments in the bottom. I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys. You can follow me at Twitter at Spill It Boy. Bye, guys.